Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I have one of the most exciting videos I have ever filmed. Today's video is in partnership with Pat McGrath Labs. If you are new to my channel, Pat McGrath is actually my all-time favorite makeup brand. If you don't believe me, I literally have a playlist of all things Pat McGrath on my channel featuring the billions of videos I've done featuring her products. So I am so eternally grateful to you guys for giving me this opportunity to partner with my favorite brand. So today's video is going to be focusing on a fresh complexion using her complete skin system. And then I'll also the brand new Dark Star Mascara that released a couple of weeks ago. I finally have collected my thoughts after using this for a few weeks now. So if you would like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So the look that I'm going for today is really clear, clean, natural looking skin, mostly complexion based. And then I am going to use the new Dark Star Mascara. I've been testing this for a couple weeks now, so I'm really excited to kind of give you my full in-depth demo and thoughts on this. I've been definitely giving it time to test this out. So let's put our hair back. And of course, I am going to be only using Pat McGrath products. So we are going to start off with her primer. And that is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer right here. This is a nice primer and it does leave your skin with a nice base before going in with their foundation. I do find it is slightly moisturizing uh, but it also does kind of help as far as longevity of makeup. So I just put a little bit on, use it very sparingly and we are going to go into the foundation. This is the Sublime Perfection Foundation. I use the shade Light Medium 9. I really love this foundation. I think it's so lightweight on the skin. It's so natural and you can barely feel it. It looks like skin, but it also just perfects everything. I know there are mixed opinions on this foundation, but I'm definitely on the side of really liking it. I'm actually gonna use the foundation brush for this now. This is my first time using it. Typically, I'm a sponge girl. Now that I have this in my hand, I love how nice and short the handle is, so you have a lot of control. And this does feel like it would be really nice for this specific foundation because of how lightweight it is. And I'm just gonna use the brush to buff it in. Like I said, I'm pretty picky with foundation brushes because I am such a sponge girl, but because this foundation is so lightweight, I find that it works really well with this brush because this brush, it's not too dense. It's the perfect amount of density and softness to really blend this out. Ooh, and I'm not even getting any streak marks, which is my biggest pet peeve about brushes. Okay, okay. I feel like you can really tell that this brush was designed for this specific foundation. Wow. So here's just one quick thin layer of the foundation. As you can see, it really evens everything out. I am gonna go in with a little bit of additional product on my cheeks because I have very red cheeks and a little bit around the nose. And I do have one little friend down here that needs some coverage. Honestly, you guys, I'm just such not a foundation brush person. I'm a sponge girl all the way but this brush was legitimately made for this foundation oh my goodness I love it so now we are going to go into a concealer now Pat McGrath has one of my favorite concealers of all time this is the sublime perfection concealer you should be able to tell how much I love it by the number of shades that I have I have a shade for my under eyes a darker shade for my acne and then I also now have a darker shade that I'm gonna try and and do a little bit of shading with because I want the look to be really simple, clean, and fresh. It's not too dark for my skin tone. This is M17, but I am going to put it in places like around my face out here just for a little bit of some natural warmth to my face. So I'm just gonna go in again with this brush, just a little bit. So it's going to add a little bit of depth, a little bit of warmth because the face naturally is not one color. I think I probably could have gone a little bit deeper for this technique, but ordering online 
is so hard. I was so nervous of getting a shade that was way too dark, but it definitely did work. It did shade the face a little bit, so we got the job done for sure. For my acne breakouts, just anything like that, I use the shade LM12. Guys, I mean, I love this concealer so much. Sometimes I'll just use it as foundation. It's that good. It doesn't crease on my under eyes. It's the perfect thickness while still being easy to blend out. I don't understand how how they perfected this formula so well and I'm very very picky with concealers and then for my under eyes I use LM9 and not to mention under the eyes she is full coverage. Pat McGrath also does have a brush specifically for concealer. This is a very unique brush. It's a short handle and you see this shape. I've had this one for a while and it does a really nice job if you love to keep the coverage because it is more dense. I usually like to spread it out with this brush and you have a lot of control to really get very close to the lash line and most importantly this inner part right here because a lot of times this is often forgotten to blend out the concealer up there. It's so important. It like makes or breaks a look. It really brightens up the face when you cover that. So I like to spread it out with this and then I'll go in with a sponge just to blow everything out, give that natural finish that a sponge gives. And now we're going to set the under eyes. This is my all-time favorite under eye setting powder. This is the Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. If you aren't familiar with my channel, I promise you I'm not just saying this stuff because I am partnering with Pat McGrath on this video. I'm choosing to partner with Pat McGrath on this video because these were my thoughts prior to even getting this opportunity. That's why it's just... I'm honestly so blown away and so thankful. So I'm using the powder brush from Pat McGrath. This is one that I'm trying today. My first time using it and I'm just gonna use this to set the under eyes. So I like this because it is so lightweight underneath the eyes. It really gives such a natural finish. You don't look powdery at all. This under eye powder is so extremely blurring that I'll use it all over my face as well. That's why I do have it in the shade medium also because I'll set my under eyes with light and then I'll put the medium all over my face when I want just an all over perfected blurred appearance. So she also does have a setting powder which is loose. So I have two shades. I have light one and light medium two. So as you can see they are quite different in shades. I'll use light one just for under eye brightness when I feel like baking and I want a thicker layer of powder. But today I'm just going to use light medium two and I'm going to use that to set around my face since I've already used that blurring under eye powder and I'm still going to use the powder brush. I'm just going to take a little bit. I don't want too much powder today. I just want to lightly set down around the face. I am leaving right here where you would normally highlight quite powderless because I am going to be using a cream highlighter today. So we do have a little bit of natural warmth and depth to the skin and I'm actually going to use a blush color. So Pat McGrath doesn't actually have a legitimate blush in her line but when I want to use her line solely I really love this shade right here from the Divine Rose 2 as a blush. It's seriously so gorgeous. So I'm just going to take just a little bit and I'm going to lightly put a little bit of color right on the apples of my cheek. Do you see how how pretty that is as a blush. I can't wait for her to come out with blushes. I know she's going to kill it. But for now, because I love this shade so much, I am very settled with it. But it just gives the most pretty rosy kind of flush. I love it. So for highlighter, I'm actually going to go in with her nude skin fetish highlighter balm duo. I'm going to go into the champagne -y side, which looks like this. So this is going to give us a natural glowing skin look. So as you can it doesn't look like I have a lot of product on my skin and I want to keep it that way which is why we are opting for a cream highlighter and I prefer to use a finger to apply a cream highlighter just because the warmth of your fingers are really going to blend the glow and the product into the skin so naturally so you can see it just added that perfect little amount of glow and dimension to the skin. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not a big cream highlighter fan, but of course, if Pat was gonna do one, it was just gonna be the best one that I have in my collection. Then if you want to, apply a little bit down here. I was like a little bit on the center of the nose, and you see how that just, uh, 
so beautiful. I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows and then we'll zoom in and really get into my thoughts on this mascara. All right, we are up close and personal. So let's talk about the Dark Star Mascara. So currently on my channel, I've only done a first impression. First time that I opened it, I did say in that video that I don't like judging mascaras based on their first try because I prefer a little bit more of a dry out, worn, used mascara. So I've used it for a few weeks now and I know what I think. So the packaging, by the way, comes in this gorgeous pink box, always. Pat McGrath knows how to do it. And if you aren't aware or you're new to my channel, the Fetish Eyes Mascara is actually one of my all-time favorite mascaras. Definitely in the top two for sure. Because I have very short, thin eyelashes, I'm very picky about what I put on. So I've definitely really been enjoying this mascara. What I like about it is how it builds on itself. And I can tell it still has a lot of qualities that are similar similar to the Fetish Eyes mascaras. Instantly, I love this mascara because I love the Fetish Eyes so much and the Dark Star is quite similar to it. I do really like the Dark Star. So let me show you really quickly. Now there's not gonna be this crazy transformation because I have very small, sparse lashes. So this has a little bit more of an hourglass shape compared to the Fetish Eyes. And I'm gonna quickly start off with my lower lashes, which are almost non-existing, you guys. <laughs> So here is what one pretty thin coat is looking like. Overall, I find this mascara to be a little bit more separating, which I kind of prefer because I don't have that many eyelashes on my eyes. So the fact that this can actually kind of separate them is really awesome. So I'm gonna go in with a quick second coat now. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna stop here with the second coat. I'm a huge fan of the Pat McGrath mascaras very clearly, but I do feel like this does something different. It definitely is more separating to my lashes, but if you're a fan of fetish eyes, this mascara is also quite amazing. So let's finish up with lips. I just want to do a natural lip to go with this natural look that we have going on. So I'm going to use the Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Buff. This for me is like a my lip color but better and it's more on the pinky side which I think is really nice for summer and every day. And again if you're a regular on my channel you know I think her lip pencils and her lip glosses are some of the best on the market. And then the lip gloss that I chose that I feel like just goes absolutely perfectly with this this lip liner is the Divine Rose lip gloss. So I'm just gonna put this right on top. And her lip gloss formula is so smooth, comfy, and just perfectly glossy. Okay, so I'm just gonna get myself together and I'll be back to share with you my final. And then, so here is the final look. Just a really fresh looking complexion. I absolutely love it. Every product that I used will be listed in the description box for you guys, along with the shades and all of that good stuff. And again, I wanna thank you so much for being the reason that I had this opportunity to partner with my absolute favorite makeup brand really it's just unreal so thank you so much for your support thank you so much to pat mcgrath for partnering with me on this video if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so it would mean the world to me and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one